Hi, I'm sat here in Gloucester with my colleague, uh, Dr. Emily Ryle, and you're um, a senior lecturer in the philosophy of sport. Um, philosophy of sport? Um, that, is that kind of philosophy? Uh, well, there's actually been a debate in the philosophy of sport as to whether there's such a thing. Okay. Um, so this philosophy of sport, uh, I guess, has, has been a, around as an area of interest since the latter part of the 20th century. So in the 60s and 70s, it started emerging um, with the International Philosophy of Sport Association um, starting up in 1973 mm -hmm. and um, more recently it's sort of gained traction amongst both philosophers and people um, interested in, in sport. So it covers a wide range of things about the nature of sport, about ethical issues within sport, is it investigation to what is sport? I mean, the... Yeah, there's, I mean, many of the issues in the philosophy of sport are traditionally ethical issues about you know what's right what's acceptable um, what's fair um, but there are also some kind of epistemological issues about sporting knowledge um, there's obviously definitional issue, issues about what is sport how does it relate to things such as games and play um, so there are other issues that aren't just ethical issues so it isn't just a branch of philosophy dealing with certain ethical issues it's actually got its own kind of content yeah, I mean, it, it, it obviously takes a lot from many other areas of, yeah. of philosophy, but there are particular issues in the philosophy of sport that probably aren't, aren't considered um, elsewhere in other aspects of philosophy. And given, I guess, that sport has become so important to our culture and so central to our kind of leisure, to entertainment, to the way that we relate to, um, for many people, the main way they relate to kind of their bodies and things and the bodies of others is through this idea of sport or various types of sport either observation or participation, there's probably quite a lot to say. Well, I think there is, and, and you know, again, with the professionalisation of sports, um, particularly in the 20th century, mm. the rise in uh, the number of uh, professional courses in sport, you know, coaching mm. courses, education courses, um, suddenly there were those foundational uh, philosophical questions associated with sport that mm. people were interested in and, and, and felt were important um, to ask. Mm. Absolutely. Well, I think suppose for young people who aspire to be coaches or to work in the, in the sports world, which is a very big area of employment, a very big part of our culture, they ought to study philosophy. Definitely, uh, I think that, you know there are foundational questions to every other discipline, and, and it's really good that um, the philosophy of sport has managed to find a sort of a foothold in those in those disciplines. So um, coaches need to ask about you know what is the right way to coach. Um, what is important about mm. sport? Is there anything important about sport mm. or valuable about sport? And, and the same with education. But also sports scientists. You know, there's lots of ethical questions in sports science um, that, that need consideration. Uh, look, and there's the fountain on this campus. has just gone off. I think it's a good time to stop. Thank you. Everybody. <laughs>